Okay, this is a uh, walkthrough for a new song we're doing called Be Lifted Higher from Gateway Worship. And this is actually going to be for the uh, lead electric guitar part, even though I'm carrying an acoustic right now. I'm going to play it on that for right now. Uh, so the big thing is there's a capo on the first fret. And this is kind of, um, I may have sent out a video already that shows um, Gateway's players doing the song, which obviously they know how to play it, so it's cool. Uh, this is just... Um, something that I've come across as I've um, been going over it myself to learn it myself and um, there it, it's a it's actually a very uh, tricky song rhythm wise uh, it's a lot trickier than some of the stuff we normally do technically um, the the chords are you know pretty simple and the chord structures is pretty simple but some of the lines and the really what it is the rhythm and keeping it up at that tempo can get uh, can get tricky uh, I'm still actually um, working on getting it to the way they play it, um, but this is just something I may end up doing in the short run, just to make it sound good and to work and then to not fall apart. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> that's what this is. It's a, it's a little bit of my journey into learning the song Be Lifted Higher. So anyway, uh, we do have a capo on the first fret, that's what they do too, so that actually makes this part easier. You got the intro, the uh... Now what they do is, uh, they do three notes per, um, per beat, so one, two, three, four. Stuff like that. Now, you can, that's actually not too hard at first, but as the song goes along, it can get tiresome at that tempo to do it and, it's in, and to keep uh, locked down. Uh, what you can do, this is what I've been doing so far, just to kind of really get it in my head here. Um, basically doing more of like a, a shuffle feel so it's like you if it's three notes per beat you're taking out the middle one so it's like a so we got the verse as your people we won't be silent Now this next part, um, they do these little um, chord shapes that are based on uh, um, like these bar chords. So what they do is they, they basically mute all the strings and then just go. Um, and then. So, so that's uh, you can do the same. You can uh, do the same rhythm with that too. You can go. So that's your uh, pre-chorus. When you turn the hardest heart to stone, or to song, <laughs> and so, um, and then what I've done with these uh, single notes on the chorus. Uh, they do it with a... Uh, uh, what, I've, what I've done so far, uh, to, like try the same rhythm and do like octaves. So then we, you get to the second verse, and it's um, keeping the same rhythm. Uh, you can do like a B flat chord. This is what I'm doing here, especially when I'm going to be singing this and playing it at the same time. I'm just kind of stick with this, and uh, unless the rhythm of three uh, three strums per beat gets better, I'm going to stick with the. What I'm doing there is a B flat power chord. And then when it gets to the G minor, I can do this. I can put my middle finger right there on the on the tenth fret of the A string, and then a E flat power chord. Now we're back. 
back to the... flat power chord there and that's pretty much the same what they do there so a lot of what I'm doing is just taking out the middle uh, note of when you do like three three strums for beat I'm taking out the middle one so as a shuffle so instead of da 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 it's a da 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 so emphasis on the on beat so on the one two three four one two three four so it'll be emphasis there so it's like um so it's like a down strum on the on the down on the uh, one two three four. It's and then of course you make sure you're muting. I'm doing a little thumb over the string to make sure that E string doesn't ring out. Make sure it's come out nice and clean. You probably won't want a whole lot of delay on this one because you that um, and if you do, it's going to be very very subtle just to give the guitar a little bit of body, uh, but not so much that it starts ricocheting everywhere and becomes a mess. Um, so you want to be very very careful on this one with the delay. So uh, I hope these things help. So if you go between this and then the actual gateway video on the Worship TV link um, that I sent earlier then you know, it should be okay. There's still going to be some work involved. And if you can actually do it the full way that they do it on Gateway, uh, go for that. But in the meantime, I know this is something I'm working on because once we come back from Thanksgiving, i got to sing this and play at the same time. So uh, right now, as it stands, I'm going to be doing more the, the, the shuffle. This so much, it's right now, it's so much easier to sing and play at the same time. So anyway, I uh, hope that helps. And please let me know if you have any questions at all. Thanks.